very, very lovely morning to you all. Uh, yeah, we're out again this morning. Um, I'm going to try and target some bream. I had a go the other night, if you've seen that video already. I uh, didn't do very well. I uh, didn't catch any bream, so that's not doing very well at all. Yeah, I was targeting bream and smooth hounds. Let's get that way you can see me. And uh, yeah, I didn't get any. So I'm out again today. It's Sunday. It's nine o'clock, just before. Uh, I'm out all day today. Uh, low tide is at half nine, so I'm looking forward to trying to get a good few hours. Probably, hopefully, like a six, six to eight hour session. Uh, that would be really, really cool. Uh, it's going to be difficult because I'm fishing in the Solent, um, and after high tide, it does have a tendency to be a slightly unfishable, depending on where you are. And um, there are a few marks that are fishable. I haven't found any yet, <laughs> apart from the pier, but obviously, because you can just cast with the tide. Uh, so yeah, so at the minute, this is my first venue. I'm hoping to go somewhere else. Uh, got my sunscreen. Um, it's actually that I, not that I need it because I'm in the shade. Even though it's a glorious day, um, I'm going to perch myself there, which is in the shade at the moment. Hopefully, the sun will come round. Uh, conditions, tides a bit, uh, water's a bit dirty, and it looks like it's quite a bit of weed in the water. <laughs> Uh, but like I say, still got half hour on the ebb, so by the time I get set up, get a couple of baits out, hopefully things will settle down and we can't uh, try and get ourselves into a couple of bream. Uh, I've got worm, uh, ragworm, let's go there, you can't see me, uh, ragworm, and I've got um, squid, a couple of part bags of squid, and I've got some crab. So at some point during the day, uh, I'm going to chuck out a couple of peelers, see if we can't get into a... Um, I don't know, bass, any, anything to be honest. I'm out fishing, but predominantly I would like to get some bream. So let's see how we get on. Gonna be fun uh, right so I've actually I have brought a different rod today uh, I've got 12 foot uh, Abu uh, enticer um, just because I thought it might be a bit more sensitive than the the big old 14 foot uh, pen that I've got the pen title uh, and I've got a 13 2 um, which basically I've got that on a clipped so I've got two hook clip rig it's not clipped up yet but that's a two hook clip rig with some worm tipped off with some squid I've never really used worm for bream um, but quite a few other people do so I'm keen to give it a go normally I just use those rigs there which is literally no clips no clips no nothing size two hooks and uh, really well bound on bits of squid um, that one's only on a three ounce on the 12 foot because I don't think I need to ping it too far and also it'll be quite fun to have a bit of a lighter gear um, that one's on a five because uh, I am going to launch that out into the tide of it so let's get these uh, get that one clipped up and let's get them in the water Ah, well, they're in the water, really struggling with the three ounce. One, it didn't go very far. I've never used three ounce grippers before. The only time I've ever used three ounce leads normally is if I'm mackerel fishing. And it didn't go very far, standard, of course, because there's not a lot of weight. But I'm struggling to get it to bite in. The other one's bit in straight away. Um, so it's just floating around out there at the moment. But yeah, I keep giving it a few little reels and it's, it's just must be bobbing across the top of the sand. It's just, it's literally just not biting in. But anyway, I'll leave it out there for a bit. I'll get another rig ready and I'll probably chuck a five ounce on it instead. I wish I had fours, to be honest, but there we are. Um, let's have a quick look at the bait. Right, so here we go. It's 
bait today is I've got half a pound of rag and I've got to be honest this is some amazing rags really nice decent size they're really lively um, this, the, all the bait today is from um, West White West White Angling um, Andy in there um, yeah he's definitely hooked me up with some decent rag there I've got a couple of uh, peelers that were left over from the other day um, and I've also got um, a couple of packs of the uh, Sam's C6 squid. Well, I say a couple of packs. I've got a couple of part packs uh, just because it was left over. Um, yeah, let's just sit back and hopefully we can uh, grab ourselves a fish. That'd be really nice. So basically what I, uh, I did, my rods are in the water now. Um, but before I uh, set up, I did have a little wander around and just lifted a few rocks just to see if there's any peelers around. Um, which I haven't seen any, but bear in mind, I did only give it five minutes. Um, but I'll have a little quick scan again now. The tide's gone out a little bit more since I started, so it'd be nice if... Oh, that was just there. Cool crab. Can't remember what they called it. They called a porcelain crab. I'm sure some some of you guys will know uh, what they are. I, however, do not. I think they're called porcelain crabs. Should know, really, shouldn't I? Uh, but yeah, basically, looking for peelers, and it's just a simple case of lifting up a rock, having a look underneath, and placing it back down again. If there's nothing there, see loads of little, look at that, absolutely loads, but they're not what I'm looking for. It's absolutely stunning down here. It's wicked. Very, very lucky. So straight across the water, Livington over there. It's a very cool looking old, uh, what is it called? Man, my brain is not functioning this morning. <laughs> You know the bit, the, the the bit of wood that comes out to separate the beaches. Anyway, there's a couple of old rotten ones, and it looks really smart. There we go. <laughs> right, no crabs. Let's get back up, sit next to the rods. Although it is quite nice being out in the sun for a, a bit, because I'm in the shade up there. Anyway, just come to me as I was walking back. Groin, old bits of groin. <laughs> Those things over there. <laughs> I think we're getting a couple of bites on the left hand rod, the taller of the two. I've just um, just rigged up that other rig. Uh, I made up some rigs with some two, uh, some size twos and some size fours. And I don't normally use size fours, but I had them. So it's like, well, let's use them because I know a lot of people say size two to even size six for bream. And that seems incredibly small with a lot of the guys I fish with use up to one o, so uh, I think it's just trying to sort of sift out the um, the bigger fish, trying to get the bigger fish rather than the smaller one. So yeah, so normally I use size twos, but I've got a size four rig made up and I've just put some worm on that and I've tipped that off with um, some crab legs, peeled crab legs. So I'll chuck that out in a minute. <laughs> Well, we got our first little spider crab, a little male. I don't think it's a peeler. And it's not. So let's chuck that back in. Uh, there we go, so I've had, a, I've had a bait change on both rods. Uh, one was stripped completely clean and one had that spider on, so there's obviously some crab activity out there. Um, it's colder than I thought it was going to be. It's because I'm totally, I mean, I've stood here, I can see the rods there, and then I'm in the sun. I go there, and I'm in the shade <laughs> next to the rods, which is cold. Um, but yeah, I love fishing in the daytime. I know it's not as productive, not until the, there's plenty of bream around. Um, I've never really caught much in the daytime, apart from, like I say, apart from bream. So, um, yeah, I'm really, really enjoying this. It's just nice to sit, no torches no sorting out lights for the camera and all that sort of stuff it's really nice just to sit and enjoy a bit of daytime fishing and hopefully hopefully we'll get into a few fish
yeah fingers crossed I really 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 want to bream there's definitely uh, definitely some activity on the uh, on the shorter two shorter rod of the two but I've got a feeling it could just be crabs I've got braid on there um, so it does pick up a lot more of the uh, the bites you know sensitivity uh, so it could just be a crab just pulling at it I'm going to give it a couple of minutes and I'm going to bring it in and change it because if it is crabs there'll be no bait anyway yeah as suspected Snip, snipped one off the other one's stripped uh, now I knew this was going to be a bit of a, a, an issue today so I have brought extra hooks with me today um, and I've got some extra lines so I can just hopefully just retie like I said they're only little sort of 8 inch snoods so just quickly retie a snood chuck a hook on it and away we go again um, I haven't got any pop ups it has been suggested that I should use some pop up beads I've, I've normally got a couple kicking around uh, but I haven't got any on me uh, which might have been a mistake but uh, yeah, if it persists, I might think about moving earlier. But I mean, if they're about, they're going to be about everywhere, to be honest. Hopefully, we can just fish through them. Let's like, say the tide's right on the bottom of the tide at the moment. It's probably just started to push. Um, and hopefully, when the tide maybe speeds up, maybe it will like move some of the crab on. Who knows? But we will persist for a minute. Oh, I feel really good about those two last casts. I've had no real interest. A couple of small nibbles. It could have been fish. It could have been uh, crabs. It definitely wasn't bream. Um, but I've just chucked out um, two uh, really small peeler crab. Cut it in half. Uh, and I got that on a um, two hook flapper. And then uh, and two another two hook clipped clip rig with size twos. Both of them size twos. And that's got. Um, a big lump of rag, or a lump of rag, a big rag, and um, so plenty of bait out there because everything's coming back stripped. So, but yeah, both of them were really nice casts, went out a decent, decent way, and hopefully get into a fish. Been fishing for a little while now. I mean, it is stunning out. It is absolutely glorious. It feels like a proper summer's day. Yeah, it'd just be nice to have a fish to show for it. So the tide, the tide is starting to push up a little bit now very very little activity at the moment um, so I've just made up a little rig uh, so basically it's just a running ledger rig about three three foot trace I've literally got a size one hook on there and I'm going to put crab on it um, and then I've probably got two and a half feet with a running ledger there uh, which I'm just going to stick a um, maybe a three ounce bomb and literally there's a groin right here I'm just going to plonk it on the end of the groin and see what happens see if I can't get a bass but it's very very quiet very slow <laughs> very small tides today so I don't know if that's got something to do with it but you know what I mean if a bait's in the water you've got to think that the, you stand a chance to get a fish so I'm gonna leave one firing out for bream and I'm gonna have a little play with this one just for a minute well, for an hour or so. Yeah, 20, 28 pound leader, 28 pound leader, 28 pound snood. And I think that's 60 pound. It's actually my leader, but it's pretty, um, it's pretty decent for rig body as well. Ay, 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 right, okay. <laughs> been fishing for, oh look at that behind me it looks absolutely stunning um, fishing for three hours best part of uh, high tide is not for another four and a half hours uh, and I'm I haven't had a nibble not one single bite yet so I'm I'm an iron about where to go next could go to Fort Victoria I know there's some bream being caught there that's kind of where I'm sort of hedging my bets I think I think I'm gonna head over there uh, could go to the pier, 
really don't like fishing the pier. I don't know what it is about it. Um, I know it's good fishing, don't get me wrong, and those of you that fish it, that's great. I have fished it, don't get, you know, I've fished it quite a few times, but um, yeah, I just, I don't know, I just don't get a good vibe from it. Uh, so yeah, so I could go to Norton Wall, that's normally pretty good for Bream. But yeah, I think I'm going to head over to Fort Victoria, but I've got two baits made up ready, so that can go out in probably about 10 minutes. So that's half an hour and then I can get over and that will give me another sort of three hours uh, of the flood up to high over there. Because I really want to bream. <laughs> it's not that much to ask, is it? Uh, yeah, so at the moment, fishing isn't that great. Weather is beautiful. Loads of activity on the water, but not much in the water. Uh, yeah, so chuck these last couple of baits out in a minute. And then uh, I might pack my gear up and head on over to Fort Vic, see how we get on. Uh, well, it's been a total washout here, I've got to be honest. Uh, but yeah, I've packed up some of the stuff. I'm going to bring these two rods in now. And uh, and let's get, let's get packing, let's go and uh, get over to somewhere else, hopefully where we can get on some fish I say that and one of the rods is going but I think it's just crabs constant constant crab activity and like I say with the braid it constantly looks like you got bites when you haven't uh, yeah let's pack this up all right okay we're at Fort Vic uh, I did go to go fishing on the corner where I normally fish uh, and it's uber uber busy <laughs> super busy super lots of people no one fishing uh, but I don't like doing the camera when there's lots of people around. I feel like a right numpty. Uh, so I'm fishing a little spot I haven't actually fished before. I'm right, I'm not right next to the pier, but I'm pretty close to the old pier. Uh, I'm fishing off the beach. Um, I've seen people fishing. A couple of guys from the club have fished down here before when we've had a comp on, and they've always done all right. Uh, so yeah, so I'm gonna chuck one straight out for Bream, and I might dink one a bit closer towards the pier, see if there's a bass under there. Uh, but yeah, let's get some rods in the water, man. Ah, there we go. So both baits are both bait, bait, bait. Both baits are in the water, and uh, yeah, it's gonna relax a little bit again now. It's absolutely gorgeous out. It's like 18, 20 odd degrees. It's super warm. Uh, a nice day to be chilling in the garden, to be honest, with a cold beer. But never mind. Uh, I want some bream for dinner. Uh, so yeah, second venue, uh, hopefully this one will pay off. So I've got another two two odd hours till high tide, at least two hours till high. So fingers crossed we can get one. feel a little bit more confident here, I know it fishes well here, but not exactly where I am. But uh, So we'll see, hopefully we can get a bream out. Just about to do my bit and the uh, Spitfire just came over. We get them quite regular over on the island. Uh, anyway, yeah, I'm not happy about that. <laughs> I don't know what, I think, it's, I think it's called a wind knot. Essentially, it's happened to me a few times since I've been using braid and it will ping off like a crack off and then I end up with like a bit of, of the braid like from one eye all the way back to the other, like wrapped around on itself. Very frustrating, because I was looking forward to chucking it out, that bit of crab on, on a running ledger. I was gonna donk it at the end of the pier, it landed perfectly, just not attached to my rod. Uh, yeah, so that was the first bait change, totally stripped again. So let's have a quick, uh, quick nose. I've got a big old ball of squid heads going out, I'll show you now. Right, so this is what I've got going out in a minute. It's very um, loads and loads and loads of beach flies at the moment because I think it's just because of all the seaweed. They lay their eggs in the seaweed. Um, so I've got a big old manky ball of uh, squid heads that's all bound together uh, to chuck out, hopefully to entice something because at the minute, nothing, nothing is coming. To be honest, to be honest, I don't think the, um, 
bait staying out on the hook long enough to get a fish. It, they're getting caned by the crabs. You can see them moving up and down now, but I didn't snag, which is one good thing. But I still lost my gear, so yeah, not great. So far, I've been fishing all day, and I haven't had a fish, so. Fingers crossed, it will happen. Well, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm really struggling here. There's so many crabs, it's literally like, I'm changing the bait every 10 minutes and, uh, and they're coming back completely stripped. It's really, really hard work. So I've got one more rig baited up to chuck out. I'm going to chuck that out. And I think I'm going to knock it on the head. I don't really want to give up, but I don't know what else I can do. I'm firing baits and firing baits. It's just not happening today. And that's daytime fishing. Well, for me at the moment, anyway. I know it's not the same for everybody, but... We'll give one more chuck, and then we'll uh, think we're going to call it a day. There we go, that is, that's what I'm dealing with right now. Uh, that's a male, possibly close enough, big enough to keep, but he's only got one claw, so we'll chuck it back anyway, let him grow it back. But yeah, this is what I'm dealing with. Ah, well, <laughs> you guessed it, I'm at home. And uh, yeah, it didn't quite go as according to plan. Um, yeah, I'm gutted I didn't get a bream to be honest, so I'm just, Sorry for you guys, obviously, because this is a video with no fish. Lots of fishing, but no fish. So I do apologise. But on the bright side, fished a new little spot up at Fort Victoria. Didn't hit any snags. Uh, but it was super, super crabby. Everywhere was crabby, but Fort Victoria was super crabby, if that makes sense. And uh, and then the weeds started to come in as well. So it didn't make for fun fishing. Uh, I was recasting like every 10 minutes and even then it was stripped so it's quite frustrating you can see there i've got a pretty decent crab um not in size and it didn't have both claws anyway so well i think it was in size but it didn't have both claws so uh yeah a little bit disappointing so uh yeah so i do apologize that it wasn't not the best content but there we go uh but i get to sit in the garden now even though there's a tiny corner just there with some sunshine uh so i can have a cold one which I've been busting for, and uh, and yeah, basically sort of assess, <laughs> assess my session, uh, see where I could improve, and see where I went wrong. Thanks for stopping by. Sorry I didn't get any fish. <laughs> but until the next one, take care, stay safe, and maybe I'll see you on the beach. <laughs>